Alright, thanks, Discount Dan. This rocket pack is awesome. What the? I told that Yahoo not to buy anything from Discount Dan, and look what happened. Well, let's just arrive in the chimney today. Thanks to Santa. Well, this is long overdue. Roll that intro, please. Well, it's finally here. Battletech Alpha Strike, two-player starter set. I've been waiting for this for years, and the Catalyst Games Lab have finally delivered it. Oh, yeah, look at that um, artwork and stuff. Before I do the box opening, I want to admire the artwork on this one. And, wow. It was about time they released this thing. I think they were planning to, but with a certain global pandemic, there was, there was so much delay, but they finally get this thing going. And <clears throat> wow, two players starter set and basically um, the inner sphere versus the clans. And you got some decent mechs in here too. And this thing has terrain. That's from what I heard. Ah, and look at here. Oh, look at that Alpha Strike stuff. And I heard they're, they're newly sculpted in some of them, I believe. But you got the Atlas, the Warhammer. I don't know what that is. Um, I think that's a Phoenix Hawk, Locust, and Blackjack. I forgot this. Oh, wait, that's the rates right in there. And we got here a uh, archer, too. So you got, like, two lands for the inner sphere and one star of clan max. And you're going to be wondering, why is the clans have only one star because of a five mech? And well, clans run that way, and they are pretty advanced when they begin invading. And you pretty much get what you need. You get near to start on Alpha Strike cards for for the game. The last review I did was the 22, 2022 um, Starter Edition. That didn't have Alpha Strike, but this one did now. And you got like, what do you got here? 13 quality fully assembled miniatures, unpainted ones. Uh, 40 page rule book. Um, 24 page fictional novel. That's probably a bunch of those novels and a universe 16 page um, universal primer and 13 alpha strike cards and 13 MacWarrior cards. And there's like the finally they finally had the 25 battlefield support cards. I need to take a look at that one. It's probably will let you call, call in artillery strikes and airstrikes and all that stuff. On um, heavy stock reference sheet, that's good. And two punch um, boards of trees and game counters. Oh, wow. And nine, nine small fold up cardstock buildings and six fold up cardstock buildings and six, um, two six sided dice. That's basically it. There's no need for assembly. All you gotta do is just paint these guys up and you got um terrain cardboard terrain it's pretty nice if you want to have that plus reference sheet that's good because um every time i play battle tech or alpha strike i would go reference the book it kind of reminds me of 40k when i play i don't like flipping that stuff but with this thing in here boom with the with the sheet you can get in there and it says here with um sorry about the glare it says in the 32nd century, that's probably around the Il Clan era. And you get a novel for the Chaos Theory. And I'm, I'll be happy to read that one. And as for the box art, it's pretty decent. Like I said, you got the Rate now. That's a, I don't know if that's a new mech. 
Um, I need to read down that one. And you got um, Jade Falcon and Northwind Highlanders Max in here. So I don't know if this is taking the clan invasion or in the Ill Clan era because I know they became part of the Republic of the Sphere, the Northwind Highlanders. And when that went out, it probably went back to mercenaries. I still need to um, read up on their lore, keep up on their lore or something. But this is the what's in the box and it's pretty decent similar similar to the and it's 17.99 very good starter set if you want to play and i am about you just waiting to see what's in the box now um let me um open it up for you and um properly set up set it up so Now I got the cellophane out of there, and let's see, yeah, and put the box away there for now, and it looks like we got the Chaos Theory book, the novel from Brian Young, and I think that's Elklon era, so we're definitely going to that universe, the late timeline. I will glad to read this. It's basically the Jade Falcon and some in the Northwind Highlanders. So we'll find out what's going on. Um, I'm always thrilled to read this. And here's that Atlas. Oh, look how chunky that is. Mean looking too. <laughs> nice. And we got ourselves um, a Warhawk. Is it the Marcasai or I cannot pronounce it with the Interspirit designation, but the Warhawk, it's, I don't know if it's um identical from the pre, the other sculpt, but damn, that's mean. And I put it right here. Oh, just like in the, just like in the, in the book art. I was like, so you can't come over here. It's basically acting like a bouncer. All right. Um, yeah, and we got some interesting mechs, and of course, we got us up a Warhammer. I'm glad to have another Warhammer. Um, I wonder if they're gonna release a Natasha Kerensky's Warhammer when she was in the Inner Sphere. Please, please do. And we got sorry, we got um, I'm having a hard time picking this archer. Come on, come on. Um, this is a new skull. It has these cannons in the bottom. Nice. I wonder what variant that is. And I heard this is also a new skull too. With the... Um, Locust. And I bet this is going to be on the eBay. It's going to find its way in eBay. Sometimes people sell this stuff. And here's the Mad Cat. I think it's somewhat the same from the previous edition, but I don't know. Um, but that's ma doesn't matter because I, I'm glad to have another Mad Cat in my collection. Um, I don't know what this is. This looks like a Puma or something. I need to find out soon. I'll find out. And here's another light mech. I think this is the wasp or something. The wasp. This came out in the previous edition. The uh, when it first came out with a new um, many years ago, the starter set, the Kickstarter for the clan invasion. And I did a review on that one. I actually painted those things already. Um, they I painted them Federated Commonwealth, just like in the book book art. And here's another mech. Um, I forgot the name of this one. And here's the Wraith. This is a new Inner Sphere mech, I think. Or maybe it's a... I don't know if it's under a, uh, an old one, but they could have probably built this thing for captured clan technology. And look at that nice antenna thingy. Kind of like an alien mech, but... Aliens don't exist in Battletech universe, okay? That's final. Don't want that in the um, Battletech. 
And the blackjack. Gotta always have the blackjack. Those Davion, Davion fanboys out there. And there's another Nova. That's from the previous one, I believe. And I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard time picking these things up for you guys. And another Phoenix sock. I need to get me more of these, especially for my um, the Conus Combine faction. Yeah, that's pretty much of the mech stuff. And here, I'll move this side. That's that's with the mechs. Yeah, you got heavies, assault, lights, mediums. They're pretty much covered. You know what I... The only problem is there's no... Um, there's no... There are no infantry or anything like a... Um, like the elemental suits. I wish they have a card for the elementals. That's that's so annoying sometimes. But uh, if you're a clan player and you want to use elementals, you can use it for alpha strike. Maybe they'll, they'll ha release a new pack or something. But here's the um, all the mechs that you're gonna get. It's pretty um, impressive for it's a good deal, 17, um, not 17, um, 80 bucks for this thing. Plus, of course, you have to pay the shipping handling, but I got this from the Catalyst Game Store because I was kind of waiting for my um, local game store if they haven't really have it yet, so I want to have it now. And here are the pilot cards. I can't read the, I can't see the thing for you guys here. It's not focusing, but here's the pilot cards and Turing Concordant. Oh, nice! You know, I haven't got um get me a third. I haven't made me a bunch of Tur Turing Concordant yet. It's just I haven't had a chance. It's like I want to give them a represent representation because they are pretty prominent in the BattleTech community. We got some more mercenaries. Yeah, North Raiden Highlanders. Wait, Said um Said um uh, looks like the Said Ives um compact or something. How's Leo? Yeah. And of course how's Davion? The fifth the Fusiliers again. Mercenaries. Ooh, uh, the Knight Liren Guards. Right now, the Ilklon era, they are, um, the houses are freaking in a sword shape right now. The clans got the Terra, if you guys are not up to date, but they got, they finally got Terra, um, Alaric Ward. Not spoilers anymore, because it's been over a year now, so I recommend getting the book. And here is the battle support cards. This is definitely a new thing. Um, there are rules for aircraft for, um, like, um, infantry and how they would do Everything is in, set in the Alpha Strike starter book, so you can always think you can use that one. I, the only time I used the, when my last battle report was the one with the helicopters, and I pretty just shut him down when I was playing them with my opponent. Yeah, he got, like. Battle support. I don't know how I wonder how this is work. It has like oh, nice damage value. This must be easy reference. Well, I'm sorry, I can't this camera here it is. Tumper artillery strikes snipers jeez. Yeah, it's impressive. There's like heavy bomber, heavy bomber, bombing support or aerospace. I do have the aerospace, but it's the metallic ones. But I know there's the one that recently came out, the one with that um, I forgot her name, Rasa Hog pilot who ran her ship on the fighter on the on the clan's command ship. Yeah, I read that in the book. 
I read that in the book too, so like the clan invasion. I actually didn't read the book, I just listened to the audio novel. It's pretty good. I recommend getting the that one. You can get it from Audible. Oh, the bombing one. So I think this is I don't know how is this gonna um come in in the support. Heavy strikes. Let's do this. It says right here, so must be a point something. I have to read this on read upon this. I'm just showing you this. Oh, come on, man. It's a brand new stick thing. Damage probably target the bombs damage. Yeah, you got some bombers in here. This is basically your bombing runs. Sorry about the pilot. I'll put them aside for now. And here's the other, the Alpha Strike guards. This is nothing new, something that we have already. It's just probably the, like um the Warhawk T. Ooh, T variant in the C. I do, I wonder if there's new um these are probably new um skull. The Pouncer. I don't know if that came out in the previous one, so it could be a new mech for the clan. And the fire map. That's old, yeah. This is the Atlas S4. <laughs> That's typical um, Free World's League colors. And we got the Warhammer and all 8R. Yeah. The Wraith. I'll find out what's going on with the witch thing. And I hear the Locust is a different one. And we still have the Scout and... It's definitely gonna cause a lot of problems where if you if you um outflank the en enemy from the back in Alpha Strike, it's these mechs, the light ones, can really be deadly. I pr proven that against my opponent, and my opponent did the same thing to me. And as for I'll put this aside for now, you got a dice. They always come up with a dice. Um. You probably just put them aside because I do have a custom dice for my Jade, not Jade Flank, but um, for my clan, I have the Smoke Jaguars, and here's a primer. Ooh, new artwork. Pew pew, and you got some clan wolves. Oh, the Jihad, and this we're now in the present era. <clears throat> so one thing I like about um. Battletech is because of the era they support. You can fight any era you want. People are so um when around the time when the jihad arrived, that's when they start um hating the thing. But I really don't care. As a player, I would enjoy every um aspect of the game because I can play different eras. If you don't like that one, that's fine. Um let's play with the because it's fun and you can tell the map. All the factions and all that stuff. I we had seen this before in a previous one. Smoke Jaguar is back, baby. <laughs> and we got Dominion Rasa This is the current era. Yeah, 32 era. The oh nice. The Elkon era, man. Smoke Jaguar is back. Yeah. Yeah, there's like um, stuff with Clan Sea Fox, Russell Hog Dominion. Yeah. Speaking of um, Russell Hog, there's gonna be a uh, another expansion DLC for Mech Warrior Five, so I'm gonna go back and play that thing once it arrives. So here's a quick start rule. Oh, it's about time we have these things. Rules. I hope they didn't change anything in here, but it seems they never did. For the long, for a very long time, I had a issue with um the sh shooting phase, and I couldn't get it right. And so the reason why in many of my battles, I end up using 
custom applied damage instead and i'm not alone in this one so they it's actually allowed if you you and a friend agree on what kind of um custom shooting you did and still stick to the rules and we did get a fun fun out of it so and here's the cardboard buildings i'll pull it out you can do it like that this kind of reminds me of the drop drop zone um commander i used i used that a lot in some of my uh, battle tech and you got buildings and trees in here i believe but i'm not gonna do it right now because i don't want to um, deal with it so it's a mess oh, oh my god this is probably and this is what i was talking about we finally got this thing i can just i can just use that one for references i like references when i'm in the middle of the game or something like oh this is what i need to do modifiers and here are the trees love trees if you want and you got tokens too so i do have custom tokens and i bought from online and this will probably add it up sprint ground and all those are objective and blast markers i believe that's for the for the um damp artilleries and airstrikes Oh, nice. Very nice. I like it. And it's a thick cardboard, too, so... And for some people who are saying, Oh, this is just for Alpha Strike. We can't use it for Classic. Um, no, you can't. Yes, you can. You can use it. Oh, I'm sorry. You can use it for... Um, Alpha Strike. No, Alpha Strike. Um, ba classic Battle Test, because... This is basically, basically compatible with it, so... And they are the same, too, so... Um... For my final thoughts, I'm going to um, pause this one. My overall on this um, product or the starter set for from Catalyst, the Battletech Alpha Strike 2 player starter set, a must have because it's overdue. It's long overdue that we got this um, 2 player starter set, like a dedicated one. And if you're a classic um, Battletech player, this is also good for you because you can have more mechs and you probably have access to the stats for this online or something. But yeah, um, I would recommend get it. And new sculpts, new um, for your stuff because um, and if you can't, I mean, if you don't want to get the the alpha strike box you can probably just find the mechs on online it's gonna be an ebay people sell them i normally would get extra mechs if i want ones from over there if they to add in my arsenal sometimes because getting 70 dollars every two player starter set it could be redundant because i had so much stuff because i did that with the previous um beginners box set and i have two of those um game of armored combat so they're very compatible with these things so um and for my overall just get this game if you want to and for early alpha strike um for interesting for entering the battletech universe and they're pretty kind of on the fence on about the classic battletech this is your gateway entry so then you can actually jump into the classic battletech because um, eventually a friend is gonna um, get you going. There's multiple system for this game, so and you can also get 3D printed the classic ones and the metal miniatures from Iron Wind. You got you got your options is unlimited with this um, game mechanic. So I think this is my review for Alpha Strike two player battle tech from Catalyst Games Lab. Signing off, Mech Warriors.